celebrities making their move over to Twitch? Because we have a huge celebrity that announced that they are retiring and also moving to Twitch to stream. Yeah. Alex, do you have the story on that one? Yeah, so I guess Logic doesn't want to make music anymore. Um, <laughs> so, so he actually debuted his final album on Twitch like a few days ago. And that stream peaked 100,000 viewers. I, th I think he was saying it was like a steady 80,000, but peaked at 100,000. And according to Stream Elements, he um, he accumulated 11,000 paid subscribers and then over 200,000 followers. Louise. Um, so it's interesting. And then also, apparently, the the whole partnership is worth like is a multi million dollar deal. Seven figures. So, yes. So, uh, yeah. So that's uh, that's interesting. It's like it's weird because I feel like with gaming, there's so much money in it, but I have no idea like where it goes except for until I hear things like this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so, he's not the first celebrity to do that as well. Like T Pain, well, I don't think T-Pain retired, I mean, but he streamed on streaming. Twitch. Yeah. Um, and but did he sign like a deal or did he just start doing it? I think he just started doing it. it. I think yeah. he just started yeah. doing it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I think celebrities are starting to see that they can make money out of it. They're seeing other celebrities that are already on this platform creating content. So it'll be interesting to see how it evolves from there. It was only a matter of time. Celebs have uh, been all over YouTube uh, and and plenty of content creators have had their opinions on that. So it was only a matter of time before they started to realize, oh, wait, here's another stream of revenue we can make. Let's do yeah. that. Um, yeah. I know, again, and just like I mentioned with the whole YouTube thing, I know like people have their opinions on that. For me, it's like, okay, on one hand, they're bringing more eyes to the platform. That's good for everybody. Um, granted a lot of people, if they're going to be going to Twitch for logic, they're just going to Twitch for logic. But True. if you can get like a hundred people to be like, Oh, I'm, you know what? I've never seen this before. Let me check out some other streamers or something, you know, uh, then great. You can help the platform grow in some way, but the, the issue could then be similar to what's happening with the YouTube side of things is whether or not Twitch then plans to provide some sort of, um, favoritism for the celebrities right mm -hmm. if i'm having an issue on twitch or if logic's having an issue on twitch and granted logic is huge right um he's gonna get the help before i do and that's where the problem then became with youtube right is a lot of these celebrities got provided some sort of like special treatment versus some of the the content creators on the platform who helped build the platform in the first place and so as long as we don't go down that path where it's like, just cater to the celebrities and only them. Don't do anything for anybody else. Um, then that'll be the sign of danger. But like people, like celebrities joining Twitch is, is in its infancy. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but I mean, it was cool, I guess. He premiered the album on Twitch. Massive viewership, 11,000 subs. That's that's crazy on top of an but already yeah, seven-figure yeah. deal yeah. that he signed with Twitch. You know, it's a, it's a lot of money to make in a day. So yeah. good for him. I, I like some of Logic's music. I just, again, I hope it doesn't end up going down the path of Twitch just ushering in a ton of celebrities to stream on their platform and then just giving them all the benefits, whereas to not provide that same sort of uh, support for the creators who helped build the platform in the first place. I think uh, I think I was just more looking at it as like, hey, good on him. It seems like he wants to take a step back. He he did what uh, he wanted to do, um, got his final album out, and now he wants to take care of his family. And with streaming, you're able to do that a lot better, right? You're able yeah. to you're at home. Um, so it's like if anything's sure. happening, you're, you're sure. close to your family. And I think that's that was his whole point. He said, I just I you know I did the rap thing. Now it's time to be a dad. So um, mm -hmm. good good on him. I see it. Take the 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 money while you can if twitch is offering that money out um, and overall i think yeah i think it just does benefit everyone uh even if he does get a bit of favoritism i think it still benefits everyone if he's drawing numbers those people some a certain percent of those new people that have never been, never been on the platform might leak over to other channels so mm -hmm. i think overall the platform gets a boost out of it yeah uh, i think so as that's well. true. yeah i caught actually a little bit i think Aaron, you were streaming Ghost on your channel, and I remember you saying like you were a Logic fan, and I saw like the tweet that Logic was streaming, so I just clicked into it, and I was thinking of sending it to you, but I knew you were streaming, so I was like, ah, 
I'll just mm-hmm. talk to you about it. But I caught a little bit of his stream and he was talking about um, in this bit, he was talking about the release of his new album. And yeah. he was saying that he pretty much made no money on this album. He just wanted to do it specifically for the music for his fans it's not right. about the money at all and like if he's saying that though what about this deal with Twitch? yeah, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so the, like, the, the deal i'm sure had somewhere in the byline for him to stream the album in some way so maybe he didn't make any money on the production or the selling of the album but he made money on the album. I, I like Logic. I like his intentions. I think he's a very real person. He speaks from the heart usually. And I appreciate that. Uh, him Like him as an artist, I, I like what he does. Uh, but come on, who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Uh, it was about, about the money too. That's why you're it, was about the money. it was about it the was money. It was about the money. And but like good for him. Yeah, you know? no, good. Good for him. I'm just saying, like, don't say it wasn't about the money because it was about the money. My thing is, like, <laughs> being an artist, you know, as I would not know because I'm not an artist, there's a lot that yeah. goes into that touring, being away from home, like you guys mentioned, being away from family. For sure. So, you know, I don't think every celebrity, um, because I think Logic actually worked behind the scenes before he became an like kind of that figure, that front figure of like his music right i think yeah, he was like yeah. producing stuff like that which is a two very different roles and it could be exhausting so i think twitch does offer you know that way where you can be creative but it doesn't have to be like you don't have to be selling out all these stadiums you're happy just doing you know music either producing live on twitch i'm just curious what his content will look like after this yeah, yeah. apparently he played call of duty before on stream okay so yeah they're, they're gonna be playing games i think t-pain <laughs> as well he does play games it's funny though because you know they have their teams that are helping them set up their stream so you know which is completely fine so mm-hmm. t-pain actually makes jokes like when he's lagging he'll be like what's going on it's like i'm in the matrix or something like i'm talking but i'm not <laughs> seeing myself talking and then i'm moving after so like i love that like they're going through the hurdles of you know, figuring out <laughs> streaming as well. <laughs> it makes them much more personable. Um, as to whether, you know, they are going to get special treatment, I feel like that's already been there on Twitch. When you look at all the big streamers, they're already getting, you know, special treatment from yeah. Twitch, right? So it, it's something that's already ingrained in how we look at stream services, how these exclusivity deals work. So I don't think that will be a big problem and like Brody mentioned I think the more um big names that you have on your platform the better it does for the community as a whole plus I think it's a great way for Twitch to expand their IRL streaming or like mm-hmm. if you have um these creators these music creators actually doing like streams about producing music like that's different type of content i think i would want to see sometimes you see celebrities are forced to just do gaming content on twitch when it doesn't yeah. necessarily have to be that way yeah. so i hope we see more of that with more of these celebrities joining yeah and and again i i get it it is good for the platform to an extent that more eyes are being put on that platform right um but like to to, to set an example although this isn't exactly what has happened but to set an example of things that have happened with celebrities and youtube um, specifically in the realm of demonetization. I've talked a lot about demonetization yeah. as a Mortal Kombat content creator. I've been plagued by it um, in that, you know, I, I've had to jump through 10 different loopholes to try and get videos to stay monetized because YouTube's just not the biggest fan of uh, simulated, not real, very fake, very obviously fake violence in Mortal Kombat. Um, but if Jimmy Kimmel uploaded him playing Mortal Kombat and it got demonetized, you bet your bottom dollar that YouTube would make sure it gets remonetized and that he's all good and good standing. And that's because he's Jimmy Kimmel. But if me, someone who has been covering Mortal Kombat 11 since the the beginning of its announcement in December of 2019, um, or sorry, in 2018, if I'm dealing with demonetization, if it's my livelihood dealing with demonetization, it's just, it's almost like a non-issue for them, you know? Mm -hmm. And granted, like, They've they've eased up. Uh, th- there's been an open dialogue. A lot a lot of things have changed. But you, those months of lost p- like potential revenue because of demonetization can't be taken back. You know, I feel like not, it's been none a of that. Year of like demonetization. It, it's been rough. It's Kombat. been rough. 
it's been rough. And that's, and that's where my issue lies. It's yeah. not like, yes, the celebrities are going to get, they're going to get favoritism for sure. They're celebrities. They are some of the, the top dogs in the world of pop culture and media. So clearly if they're coming to the platform, making a seven figure deal, obviously Twitch is going to give logic anything he needs, whenever he needs yeah. it. Yeah. But the pro like if he's getting something that the creators don't get, even the bigger creators don't get. That's a problem. That's yeah. an issue. So we'll like in, see. In it's not that it's happening. Like, support, but we'll like in, in terms of exactly. like how their content's being viewed. Yes. But I, I guess people could argue that with like when you have partnerships with these, like that could be an argument for people who are just starting out on the platform and you have sure. these bigger streamers who have that support more mm -hmm. than the smaller just starting out streamers do, right? Um, but fair. I think what it is, it's for those communities. When it's plaguing a specific community um, of streamers, I think the community has to hold that platform up to be responsible for that, right? Like mm -hmm. to speak out about it, like how you've spoken out about demonetization on YouTube around MK content, right? I think if the that truly shows the value that platform shows to that community, and you know, right. if that platform doesn't appreciate what the communities bring to their platform, then, you know, there's lots of different platforms out there uh, for people. And I think that's a, you know, mm -hmm. you have to, content creators have to be transparent in terms of what their hurdles are, even if they have like their preferred streaming platform well, or I, content platform. Yeah. Um, I actually really agree with Caboose. Uh, I like what Javi or Javi in the chat said, where he, he said trickle down view viewer nomics <laughs> which is uh <laughs> like kind of interesting because we're yeah we get these new people uh like non-endemics uh whatever um coming into the platform and bringing like new eyes and like yeah it should trickle down but i think i guess that for me it makes me a little frustrated i mean like i'm happy overall for like the growth of gaming and the growth of content creating but it just kind of sucks because i think a lot of people start streaming because you know it, it was a it was like a new way for for like people quote like us that just play games and I mean I it's it's I don't mean to like sound like a gatekeeper in a sense right you know? right it's, and I'm not trying to sound that way either yeah but it, it yeah. does I could see it as like it does kind of suck because now with this trickle down effect it just still makes the layers like for us like on a lower platform you know now there's more and more yeah. and more that we have to wait even longer for things to trickle down to us that we reap the benefits it'll take us a while um right. but i mean there's still benefits in general so i get that but i totally get what you're saying caboose too because like you know i've been streaming for seven years so you know i can, i feel just as passionately about you do or right. that you do. right I, and i'm still relatively new to it it's just that i like having done youtube and essentially already experiencing what is seemingly the beginnings of what's going to happen on twitch mm -hmm. uh it, it, it's worrisome for me it's just worrisome well, I, i'm not yeah. saying that we should press the red button and, and right. scream danger but it's definitely something to keep a close eye on and something where if there is that level of concern and there is that level of favoritism that's being provided from twitch that that could then sort of start to become a detriment for the smaller creators. Uh, people need to start voicing their concerns and rallying together and make sure that Twitch knows that that's not okay. Yeah. Well, until it gets to that point, I think it's okay. We'll see. But yeah. if it does get to that point, then, well, you know, don't, don't say I didn't tell you so. <laughs> <laughs> you can then we, then we riot. <laughs> yeah, we riot. Everyone just riot. <laughs>